Hello, thanks a lot for checking out this video on how social media puts profits in your business and this video is going to shock you. Now you'll discover in this video how to rapidly maximize your social media ROI, return on investment. I'm going to show you the three top social media blunders of all time and how you can avoid them. I'm going to show you how to extend your business's reach and marketing dollars and you're going to understand what social media is really all about. So why social marketing? Well, if you look at this chart here on the left, it shows that 75% um, of the businesses that took this survey have a company page on a social networking site like Facebook or LinkedIn. And 69% of those post status updates and or articles of interest on sites like LinkedIn or Facebook. So I have a question for you. Are you on Facebook? Are you on LinkedIn? Are your businesses on Facebook and LinkedIn? Social media usage increased 24% and that's up from 12% the year before. Now social media helps you convert prospects into customers and when you get more customers you get more sales. Now why social marketing? Well it creates dialogue and engages your target audience. It increases your internet presence, expands brand awareness, helps you create a USP, generates publicity both good and bad provides SEO benefits which means it helps you get on the front page of Google retains customers and attracts new ones it can help you convert prospects into customers what is social media marketing social media marketing uses new media rich online tools and content to engage and foster feedback in buzz from existing and new customers it's really the new way to market today the old ways of marketing just aren't working anymore it builds no like and trust the KLT factor online communities generate buzz exposure opportunity and sales and help you create a USP carves out profitable niches and creates enduring sales and profits now what are these new media rich online tools I mean the amount of tools can get really confusing so much so that these multi-million dollar companies are, are, are messing it up sometimes Okay, so let's let's take a look at, at some of the all-time blunders here and how you can avoid them. The first one is um, Oprah and KFC, the massive blunder. What happened was is KFC put a coupon on Oprah.com, and Oprah.com um, gets an average of about you know six million visits every month. And you can check on this traffic here that you know this little chart of traffic that spike happened on the day that this Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, put their coupon up on there and what happened was is they had so many coupons being printed out that the stores couldn't handle the business they couldn't redeem the coupons so what they did was is um, they had to put this up on the site so eventually when people went to the site to get the coupon they, they ran into this uh, this little message here that you see in the middle of the slide it says our partner coupons Inc is experiment is experiencing an exceptionally high volume of traffic to the site right now please check back soon to get your coupon sorry for the inconvenience so this caused you know a you know a mess in the social media sphere the bloggers tweeters Facebookers they started you know casting out bad vibes about about Kentucky Fried Chicken started spreading all this bad this bad you know campaign this bad information so how could have Kentucky Fried Chicken avoided this well first of all you know expect the volume have a social media campaign strategy and communication protocol in place. The strategy and plan would have prevented the mistake of allowing unlimited amount of coupons to be printed and it could have monitored the conversations and in implement a, uh, a community outreach program. Now speaking of pain, you know Motor got a big headache with one of their promotions. What they did was is they created a campaign um, about you know wearing your baby everybody's wearing their babies now and 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 so much so that Motrin claims it seems to be in fashion and but by doing that they claim you're gonna get back aches so you need to take Motrin while you're carrying your baby well this angered the most powerful force in social media moms and down here you can see some tweets now these tweets were going on during the campaign while the campaign was in action people were talking about them and this is what some of them had to say now the first one says actually most baby wearing moms are breastfeeding as well and don't want to pass Motrin on to their babies the second one says wow Motrin really needs to hire some real moms and figure out what our pain actually is because it sure isn't baby wearing 
And then the last one says, there is not one time baby wearing my girls did it hurt my back. It helped me so much to baby wear both of my girls. So it was such a, a massive commotion going on about that Motrin actually had to apologize. And they put this, uh, this letter out to all their customers and on their website which uh, which basically said, you know, hey, look, you know, we have heard your concerns about the ad that was featured on our website. We are parents ourselves, and we take feedback from moms very seriously. We are in the process of removing this ad from all media. It will unfortunately take a bit of time to remove it from our magazine advertisements, as it is on newsstands and in distribution. So this was a major, major, major blunder, you know, on their on their part, and. You know, and how, how could Motrin, how could they have avoided this? Well, they could have had a social media strategy in place. They could have built a community around their business. I mean, all they had to do is create a fan page, you know, entitle it Moms for Motrin, build up a big fan base, two, 3,000 people, which really could have happened real fast, 30, 60 days, and then simply do a survey. Ask them. Ask their own customers. Say, hey, what... Is the what is your biggest pain? What do you use Motrin for the most? And then build a campaign around that, and it would have been hugely successful. So, the cure is build a community around Motrin's business. Build it around your business. You know, it creates a dialogue and engages your target audience. You know, Motrin can get to know the customers better by you know Twitter two-way conversations, by building an interactive blog or Facebook fan page or forums for moms or or, or you know rather than a one-way static website and then build a, a social media campaign you know have surveys and contests and encourage community interaction you can see on the chart here you know the flow they could have went through they could have started with Twitter and and interact with Facebook and had contests and made videos on YouTube and all that would have generated community content that they could have used for their marketing and for their for their uh, publicity so the three top social media marketing blunders of all time and how you can avoid them now the third one I really can't show you on this slide it, it's so shocking that I, I can't put it on this video so if you truly want to know you know this third blunder and, and it's and I hope you do because it's really shocking um, you can you know get over to the phone and give me a call I'll have my contact information um, or below this video, you're going to see an opt-in box. If you get and put your best email address in there, I'll email over the third blunder to you right away, so you can check it out. It's 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 really shocking. Now, this brings me to another thing. You know, it's not just a social media checklist. You know, a lot of people just say, "Oh, I'll get into social media." Okay, you know, I've got Twitter. I've got a Twitter account set up. Okay, I just created my Facebook. I got a Facebook account. Just created YouTube. Got my YouTube account. Just created LinkedIn. Got my LinkedIn account. And, you know, they think that's it. They're done. And there's a lot more to it than just that. You know, you really have to engage your customers. You have to get involved with them. And you have to set it up a certain way to make this stuff work. And, and, and this, is, this is really the steps that you need to take. You have to have a blueprint. You know, first you have to have a vision. Then you've got to turn that vision into a blueprint. Then you need to make a plan. You need to execute that plan. And then you have to improve on that plan. It's, it's a cycle that, that keeps rolling through. You improve it, then you rework your blueprint, rework your plan, execute, improve, and you just keep doing that over and over again until you fine tune it. Now, executed properly, this increases your return on investment. You know, tracks your return on investment on your marketing expenses, fine tunes your campaigns, high cost efficiency, achieve optimal results. It retains existing customers by engaging them, attracts new customers by capturing their attention, builds a trusting and lasting relationship with your customers, instant customer feedback improves service and sales. There's really no better way to do it. So we have clients that have reduced their marketing budget by as much as 50% while still increasing their sales just by shifting focus from to from traditional marketing to social media. So this is just one client, you know, using our our fast track for social marketing methodology. Okay, and when they approached us, they had no internet presence, and they're having a um, 
a, a fashion show and they wanted to sell out the fashion show. Their objective was to sell out the fashion show. Well, we put this fan page together for them and in eight days it grew to over 2,000 fans the fashion show was completely sold out and it was a massive hit and this is just one of many many things you can do with this type of a strategy so I'd like to uh, you know uh, give you a special invitation and it's a win-win it's a win-win for you for everybody and you know how would you like to give how would you like us to give you the best social marketing strategy for your business today contact us today by uh, entering your email address below, I'll send you over that third blender. I'll also send you over all the information on how to contact me and, uh, and talk to me about this information. Because the longer you wait, the more profits you're leaving on the table. You really need to get involved in this. And if you don't, your competitors will. And then they're going to steal your customers. Now, like, like Jeff Bezos says, he's the, the chairman of, of Amazon. He says, a brand is what people say about you when you're not in the room. Now, with social media marketing, you can get in the room. You know, you can be in that group and you can monitor it and you can, you know, see what people are saying and react to it. You know, and be proactive about it instead of having to react to these big major problems like you saw in, you know, Motrin and Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now, here's another slide I wanted to show you. It's, uh, you know, social media sites are now more important than company websites. This uh, survey shows that 70% of people will go to a social media website to check out your products and your services and information about your company before they'll even go to your company website or check online news or review sites. More people are now going to social media because they, it's a trusted environment. If you create a fan page in Facebook, Facebook is a huge brand. It's a trusted environment. People feel safe in there. They feel safe in there so when they you know, when they search for information, they check there first. So go ahead below this video, enter in your email address. I'll send you that third blunder. It'll uh, it'll really amaze you how you know the, the big screw up that was, and uh, and you'll learn a lot from it. And also, I'll get you my contact information. And um, you know, if you want to uh, talk to me about any of my services, I'd be happy to chat with you and, and help you uh, grow your business. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you soon. Good night.